There are two types of time travel and physicists agree that one of them is possible. Gene Kim and Jessica Orwin, November 21, 2017. Brian Green, professor of physics and mathematics at Columbia University and co-founder of the World Science Festival, explained what we know about time travel so far. Following is, following is a s transcript of the video. Brian Green, Brian Green, I'm Brian Green, professor of physics and mathematics at Columbia University and co-founder of the World Science Festival. It's critical that you realize that there are two types of time travel and they are radic radically different. Time travel to the future? Defini definitely possible. We know how to do we know how to do it because Einstein showed us the way over a hundred years ago. It's so it's surprising how few people actually really know about this in the, in their bones. He showed that if you go out into a space and travel near to near the speed of light and you turn around and you come back your clock will be ticky ticking of time more slowly so when you step off it's going to be the future on the planet the planet earth you will you will have time travel into the future he also showed that if you hang out hang out near a, a nice strong source of gravity a neutron star a black hole and you kind of get right near the edge of that object time also for you will, sh will slow down real slow relatively to everybody else and therefore when you come back to earth for instance it it will again be far into the future this is not controversial stuff any physicist know who knows that what they are talking about ag agrees with this but the other kind of time travel to the past if if where if is where the arguments start to happen because many of us don't think that time travel to the past is possible the main proposal the pro the main proposal that people at least consider worthy or or at, of attention for traveling to the past does ma does make use of a weird concept called wormholes a wormhole is something that really Albert Einstein again discovered. The guy, w the guy has like has like got his name written over th everything in this field. It's a bridge, if you, if you will, from one location space to another. It's kind of a tunnel that gives you a shortcut to go from where, from here to here. Now they discover now he discovered this in 1935 but it was subsequently realized that if you manipulate the openings of a wormhole put one near a black hole or take one on high speed journey then time of the two opening of this wormhole tunnel will not take off will not take off at the same rate so what you will no longer just from just go from one location in space to another if you go through the tunnel through this wormhole you will go from one moment in time to a different moment in time go go one go one way you will travel to the past the other the other way travel to the future now again we don't know if wormholes are real we don't know if they are real, whether you will be able to go through them. So there are, are all sorts of uncertainties here. Most of us think that you're, you're not going to actually go on a whirlwind journey through a wormhole to the past, but it's still not ruled out. 